logarithms again. What can I do with them? Put them together. This time it's going to be the logarithm of two things multiplied together. What's going to be the first thing? The x cubed over x squared plus 1 to the fifth. And what's going to be the second thing? x minus 1 to the fifth. Now, how does WebWork ask you to do these? Well, they say the same thing. Rewrite the expression as a single logarithm. And then they tell you that your answer is log A, where A stands for the argument. And finally, they say, OK, what is A? A will not have the word L-O-G or L-N or any of that in it. It will just be the thing in the parentheses here that you will type in. And may I suggest? that you look carefully at the preview thing. Can you see okay? You all right. It's just she keeps doing this and I keep thinking I need to move that. I'll figure out how to move it further away. The preview part, when you put in an answer, it says here's what I think you put in will be very helpful here because this is pretty messy to put in. And so you can see, does it think that this thing is being multiplied by that fraction or does it think this thing is in the denominator of the fraction? And a lot of people ran into that in their uh, rational functions homework too when they were writing in their rational function answer that didn't come out the way they thought it ought to. All right. Let's see what our choices are for our next few problems. All right, let's do this one so we get a chance to do a change of base formula. And then we can go back and practice one of these if we have time. So we want to actually evaluate what log base 4 of 59 is. Now, in homework up until now, you've been able to do this because these have been nice numbers. You'd be asked of log base 4 of 16. And that's the exponent that gets put on 4 in order to get 16. And you all know that's 2. That was easy. But what exponent do I put on 4 to get 59? Well, there's not a nice number. There's no way. I'm not going to be able to guess that if I want it. But if I want to calculate log base 4, I can do, of 59, I can do that on my calculator using the change of base formula. Now remember the change of base formula was log base A of B is equal to log base C, where C is my new base, of B divided by log base C of A, which was my old base. What do you want to change this to so that we can do it on the calculator? So you want to change base 10? She wants to change the base 10. So that means C is going to be 10. So this is going to look like what? Well, this would be log base 10 on the top and log base 10 on the bottom, both of which you could write without the LOG, without the 10 part, just writing LOG. What number goes here? Go 59. And what number goes down here on the bottom? 4. Now put that into your calculator. And we will have an answer. I got 1.9912122244. Anybody else get that? So what did I do wrong? <coughs> it's a parenthesis issue. Those of you who didn't get that, remember to close your parentheses after the 59. If you forget, then you're going to be taking something, the log of something you did not intend. So if you remember to close your parentheses, since they open them for you, you should get that this is equal to 2.94132. That's good enough. 2.94132. And remember in web work, that first page that you see when it gives you your problem numbers, 
tells you you should have four to five decimal places in your answers that you put in. A lot of people have been skipping that part. At least one person didn't had one of their problems wrong on the last homework because they only had two. One more would have actually been enough, but two more would have clearly taken care of it. So you want to put in four to five decimal places. All right, we got three minutes. Do you want to do another problem, or do you want to just say that's it for today? All right, I'm okay. Thank you. I will.